Y'all know my song. Hello, like before. I love you. I miss you, Brother Bill Withers. Rest in power, brother. I never come here if I know that you were here. Yes, we both can say that I knew you when. But then again, that's kiss and tell. Na, 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 na. Hello, like before. I guess it's different. Cause we know each other now. I guess we always know we meet again somehow. So I guess it might as well be now. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. To the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right. In case we don't think that our story is magnified, um, all over the diaspora, um, because when you talk about Palestinians, you're really talking about African Americans. The same treatment. Uh, and the same oppression that is pushed upon the Palestinian is pushed upon the African American. And I don't know if y'all see this, the uh, dichotomy of this and the duality of this and how our lives so resemble theirs. And if you don't know, then maybe you ought to try to figure it out. Maybe you ought to do some research because just like they doing that to them over there is what they're doing to us over here. Just may not look as, as terroristic. What do you think the bombing of move was when they went to Philadelphia and bombed, dropped a bomb? A military, a paramilitary bomb in a neighborhood, and it burned seven blocks of houses. I believe it was seven blocks. Ramona, Africa, and them, they can tell you this. She's still alive. Uh, what's the little boy that survived? Wow, I wonder. I can't think of his name now. But they bomb a residential neighborhood. What are you talking about? What what make you think our lives are not parallel or perpen uh just uh actually we're parallel to the Palestinian? Tell me you know that. Tell me you know that the same tactics that they're using on them is being done on us. No matter how we protest the treatment that's being done to us by white America, by the elite. We are told that we're making it up. We're see now. We're, there's no recourse. Whether we protest honestly or peacefully, whether we uh, 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 march with signs. It doesn't matter what we do. They want us to shut up and dribble. They want us to accept all the mistreatment and the abuse and the hypocrisy and don't have a comment about it. The same way they pushing them people on that little, what is it? Those few miles of strips of land in that Gaza Strip. In a land that was theirs. Because we're going to tell the story. Let's tell it right. And see. And that's what. Nobody really want to deal with. And what's happening right now. 
what's happening right now in terms of dropping bombs. They ain't doing them but killing babies. Killing children. Okay, so I know you're going to flag the video. I really don't care, but I'm going to do this anyway because I want y'all to know how similar our stories are. Children account for nearly a third of Palestine's uh, 174 dead. As another night of Gaza airstrikes sees families pulled from rubble of their homes. Netanyahu vows to continue rocket attacks ahead of U.S. Security Council meeting today. And let me tell you something. Then they're going to take it over to people's house. Coming, just coming in, taking a house, taking a shit. I want to be here now. The same way, the same thing that was done to us. Get off my, get off this land. Get that you acquired. Look at the Native American. That's me. Who us? Who we are? Get off this land. I'm taking over. Israeli military chiefs ordered a missile strike on the home of Yehiwa Sinwar, the top Hamas leader in Gaza. Strike took place at his home in Khan Yonis in the Gaza Strip, with a strike also ordered on his brother's home. Israel yesterday destroyed Jala Tower housing of Al Jazeera and other world press offices, said Al Jazeera. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaski tweeted that the U.S. had communicated directly with the Israelis that ensuring the safety and security of journalists and independent media is paramount responsibility. I don't give a damn. Do what they want to do. Broadcast footage showed the building collapsing, sending up huge mushroom, a huge mushroom cloud of, and debris. Jayla Tower owner said Israeli intelligence officer warned him he had just one hour to evacuate the building. The IDF defended its actions, saying it was a legitimate military target containing Hamas military officers. Strike came hours after another Israeli air raid on refugee camp in the Gaza City killed at least 10 Palestinians. At least 10. I mean, they're shocking pictures. They show dead children being pulled from wreckage of homes in Gaza after another night of airstrikes in a conflict between Israel and Palestine. The Israeli military last night strikes on the Gaza Strip, where Hamas fired rockets back as the latest conflict moved into the seventh day. Israeli said last night targeted the home of top Hamas leader as his president vowed to continue launching airstrikes on Gaza. Military forces said they targeted the home of Yahweh Sinwar in Kayonis in southern Gaza. He's the most senior leader of Hamas and the home of his brother. I mean, y'all over there killing kids again? So you bombing these babies and you want to talk about Hamas. I don't know what you expect the people to do. I don't know how you expect them to stay on that strip. I don't get it. The world has gone insane. The world has gone insane. I mean, They talking about we still in the midst of this operation. It's still not over, and this operation will continue as long as necessary. And all you doing is killing babies, mostly babies, mostly children. This is wicked. This is inhumane. This is a sin. 
on all humanity. This is a crisis for all humanity. We need to back Palestine. We cannot back Israel. We can't. We got to stop sending them these blank checks for military. We got to stop. Because no legitimate country, no legitimate entity would even act like this. This is ethnic cleansing. This is the same stuff that's going on over here. He's trying to get rid of us. Ethnic cleansing. Y'all better recognize what it looked like. Recognize. Because the turn up is our way. With the police and their rocket launchers and their rubber bullets and their tasers and their glocks. Wake up, folks. Wake up. My prayers, and I pray for peace. And I'm going to see y'all. I want to know what y'all think about this. I'll see you in the next video.